Hello, everybody. The C7 debate at the Justice Committee continues this week. Elder care, not maintenance, but meaningfulness. A video clip from students taking action in BC and requests for prayer this week. It is Wednesday, November 25th, and this is Quick Updates. Now, Bill C-7 has received most of our focus these past couple of weeks, and we're so thankful for your action on this file. The bill is now heading back into the House of Commons, where it will be voted on again before heading over to the Senate. It's been an interesting couple of days. The Conservatives have been doing what they can to stall this legislation, proposing numerous amendments, raising concerns about the expansion, highlighting flaws, seeking to find any way they can to encourage the Liberals to do something to make this bill less dangerous. This has been really encouraging. Now, simultaneously, the committee in the Senate has started studying the bill. And just a couple hours ago, Andre Schutten was able to speak for several minutes to them on behalf of ARPA Canada. It has certainly been a very busy couple of weeks. Now, we still expect the House to vote on Bill C-7 in the next week or so. And so we encourage you, even if you've done some of the other action items already, to reach out to your MP now to please vote against this bill when it comes to them. And of course, if you haven't done those action items, no better time than now to send your MP a note. Go to arpacanada.ca slash c7 for links to the easy mail and other instructions. Now, of course, tied very closely to this issue, especially now in times of COVID, is the issue of elder care. ARPA Canada has just released a new respectfully submitted policy report on this topic, and Anna Nienheis presented on it yesterday via live stream. Here's a clip. What does family elder care look like in the church? When I ask that question, what comes to mind for you? This is something I've been wrestling with in writing this report. Does it mean choosing a career path that leaves you flexibility to be a caregiver? Does it mean staying in your hometown so you're near your parents when they reach an age that they need care? Does it mean accommodating in your home so that an elderly family member can move in with you? Does it mean taking some kind of training so that you are equipped to know how to bathe someone, dress someone, brush someone else's teeth, administer medications? I would suggest that it is in part all of these things. But above and beyond all that, and the reason it is all that, is the church's call to practice servant-hearted love and understand inherent human value. We want governments to see dedicated family members as a resource that can help stretch the long-term care systems, not an issue that needs to be managed. And to watch the entire live stream and an extended Q&A she had with Andre, you can go to the link above. Next up, the Ebenezer School Club in Smithers, B.C. shared a message last week that we wanted to share with all of you. Good morning, everyone. As a school's ARPA club, we have come up with a way to involve the entire school in talking to the government and making a difference in the decisions they make. We will be focusing on a few big laws that will really affect us as Christians if they get passed. So, in response to these proposed bills, the school ARPA club has decided to host a postcard campaign to show politicians that we really care about the outcomes of these decisions. Here's how it's going to work. Cut a piece of cardstock into four corners. Take one corner and on the one side draw a picture relating to one of the four issues that we talked about earlier. On the other side, write a short note about why you care about this issue. If you need help, feel free to ask your parents or older siblings for help. Also, if you need ideas, you can go to the arpacanada.ca website and look at the email templates on these topics. Another idea to show the government officials that we kids care about these topics too, you can add your age beside your name at the end of your message. Don't worry about which politicians to send your postcard to. The ARPA club will figure out the correct address. Don't worry about postage either. Anything mailed to Parliament is free. When you're finished with your postcard, put it in the blue folder that's in your classroom. We'll pick them up later on and send them away on your behalf. Remember that you don't have to make only one postcard. You can make multiple postcards, each addressing a different topic. Please pray that God will use these postcards as a way to impact our government and help them make the right decision. Thanks so much, you guys. I'm loving these video submissions from clubs and chapters. If your chapter or club is doing something and wants to create a video about it, send it in to us and we can include it in an upcoming quick update as well. Now, as we mentioned last week, with so much going on right now across the country, many supporters have been asking us what they can pray for. And so I have uh, three items for prayer today. Uh, first, give thanks to God for the extended debate and those who've been working so hard on the issue of assisted suicide so far. Second, please pray for the continued discussion on Bill C-7 in both the House of Commons and the Senate. And third, for upcoming deliberations on the Bill C-6 that we expect any day now. 
That's it for quick updates this week. Thanks to you for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.